welcome back students to one more electrophilic substitution reaction of benzene that is sulfonation and along with its mechanism right what is sulfonation basically when i have to write the definition it is nothing but introduction of so3h this is what is this group called this is called sulfonic acid sulfonic acid group okay introduction of so3h in the place of hydrogen atom so where is the hydrogen atom in benzene <coughs> this is called sulfonation and the product what do we get we call we get as benzene sulfonic acid now let's take now i'm going to take benzene hydrogen to this i'm going to add sulfuric acid so sulfuric sulfuric acid which will generate the sulf, um, sulfonic group in see so i'm going to add sulfuric acid sulfuric acid can be written as h2so4 is a formula oh here oh here sulfur in the center two oxygens above that is one oxygen above one more oxygen below not showing the bonds so h2so4 <coughs> So now what happens this hydrogen and this OH comes out as water water now what is left out we left out with sulfur oxygen oxygen and OH so this sulfur being the two negative atom it's going to be it attack at this point so you get benzene link it with sulfur two oxygens are there isn't it one oxygen here one more oxygen here and H. So this is called benzene sulfonic acid. Benzene sulfonic acid. So sulfonation is carried out by heating what with benzene with concentrated sulfuric acid. This is concentrated sulfuric acid. Suppose now okay, let us write sulfonation with concentrated sulfuric acid right suppose if you are heating with dilute sulfuric acid what will happen we will see okay treatment with <coughs> dilute sulfuric acid okay when you are treating with dilute sulfuric acid same thing you are going to take benzene right so now we've got this h2so3 h isn't it benzene sulfonic acid i'm going to take that so that so3 h in this first stage one shifts here and you're treating with dilute sulfuric acid this is that proton from the dilute sulfuric acid possible reactions what will happen this bond has shifted here isn't it yes so there is a deficiency created here yes and here hydrogen and SO3H this further when you're dealing with H plus this bond shifts here so what do you get you get one pi bond here one more here one more here what is left now SO3H or HSO3 anything HSO3 minus HSO3 minus is generated so whenever you are treating with dilute sulfuric acid you get back benzene so remember nitration when it is not nitration I am sorry sulfonation sulfonation whenever you are treating with concentrated sulfuric acid and sulfonation when you're treating with dilute sulfuric acid so whenever you're treating with concentrated sulfuric acid you get benzene sulfonic acid bsc whenever you're treating with dilute sulfuric acid you get benzene back remember this now let's see the mechanism what is involved in sulfonation process okay. so let me write the heading mechanism of Sulfur nation. Right. 
first of all so3 now so we are going to take self concentrated sulfuric acid first so whatever so3 is there this so3 is present in dissolved state present in concentrated sulfuric acid which condition in dissolved state remember this it can also be I mean, it is also it can also be produced how can it be formed by interaction of two molecules of sulfuric acid how is that we will see <coughs> first i'm going to take one sulfuric acid like this oh in one side one more oh sulfur here oxygen oxygen now this is going to combine with one more this is h2so4 one molecule this is going to combine with one more oh so 3 h one more sulfuric acid two molecules of sulfuric acid so now what happens reversible reactions yes these two are going to combine these two will combine how will it combine just see the first hydrogen is here right the second oxygen is here done and <coughs> sulfur is here oxygen is here Oh, okay now this one double bond oxygen is here <coughs> oh h is here fine so now see here this oxygen whatever is there one two three four five six seven eight isn't it fine. observe carefully there is a cleavage here hso4 minus comes out basically hso4 minus comes out hso4 the cleavage here this proton accepts this this, this donates and this accepts so what do you get here you're going to get hydrogen this has lost a pair so plus done further what happens this is the same thing further there is cleavage of water molecule just here so you get water out and what is left out now we are left out with sulfur this part i am writing oxygen double bond oxygen or o and h correct yes <coughs> further this breaks up observe carefully water is there isn't it so there is a cleavage of the bond here also h combines with this for me h3o plus and what is left out so3 is out right so this acts as an electrophile now <coughs> this is the electrophile now we are going to take this electrophile and we are going to show how it is added around benzene right let us further proceed now what is electrophile in sulfonation so3 is electrophile now i'm going to take benzene so so3 we have already generated now, in the step one yes so when this pi bond has shifted what how does benzene look this at this site attains a positive charge this is like this only this is also like this so because this is accepted here it attains a negative charge now electrophile is what so3 so sulfur structure so3 is this one isn't it so three oxygen now count one two three four five six seven eight now for this oxygen one two three four five six seven eight for this oxygen one two three four five six seven eight now this uh, so three which acts as electrophile then it attacks at this side this side so okay. how does this look one pi bond is here pi bond is here it opens up hydrogen because the electrons are excess here isn't it and it attacks that part as with sulfur oxygen here oxygen here oxygen here now for this double bond one two three four for this double bond one two three four now this is accepted now around sulfur how many okay there's still be single bond isn't it it's oxygen so one two three four five six minus further this undergoes resonance fine <clears throat> there is a shift of the bond because uh, there is plus sign here to satisfy that this bond is going to shift to this direction okay 
hope it is clear this has got a positive charge this has got a negative charge to satisfy this this bond is going to shift here yes so how does that look this looks like this this bond this is hydrogen this is sulfur double bond oxygen double bond and single bond oxygen this got a positive charge now to satisfy that this pi bond it's exchanged and what do you get you're going to get a structure like this hydrogen your sulfur oxygen oxygen o minus and one bond here one bond here you get plus now this hydrogen bond is satisfied this valency this bond shifts here right we are going to treat this with hso4 minus so this hso4 minus this bond shifts here picks up this h plus after shifting the bond the h plus is picked up by hso4 minus what do you get you're going to get now all the pi bonds are here and i am left with sulfur oxygen one more oxygen and oxygen minus so this hso has picked up this hydrogen is it you get sulfuric acid further when you treat this what you get you get pi bonds s double bond o <coughs> double bond o and further you are treating with this particular thing you are treating sulfuric acid isn't it the h plus is picked up by this then it further attacks one proton attacks this and we get oh plus water molecule fine now here you should be careful when you are shifting pi bonds carefully see that you are shifting it perfectly so how did i get this h let's see now in this particular stage you are treating with sulfuric acid sulfuric acid has picked up this hydrogen the same time you are treating it with water here you see hydrogen into plus so this oxygen accepts this proton that is where we have got this OH right this is your sulfonation uh, uh, reaction mechanism students so hope it is clear first I have generated SO3 then I have taken that SO3 and shown you a step stepwise so this is a mechanism so careful one this is the first step first second third fourth fifth six and seven steps so thank you for watching students i'll meet you again with friedel crafts alkylation and acylation reaction mechanisms stay connected right now let's see the uses of sulfonation so we have already seen how we have generated so3 <coughs> how is it adding around the benzene ring so basically sulfonation reaction so sulfonation it is used to block a position in benzene ring so it's going to be, or we are using it to block one position in benzene ring. Let us see one example and understand that. Fine. <coughs> so and no other group occupies. So that it will block and no other group comes and occupies that. So suppose if I take toluene, right? Fine. To this, I'm going to add sulfuric acid. Let's see how is it blocking? So this sulfuric acid, as in the mechanism we've seen, it releases SO3H, isn't it? Now this SO3H it goes and blocks the para position SO3H so para position is blocked blocked that is the main use now what happens suppose if you are introducing bromine in the presence of Fe this is blocked this is also blocked with sulfuric acid SO3H now this bromine goes and attacks at this side first is this side only isn't it so your methyl group is here bromine is here so 3 h is here further if you try to hydrolyze this let the h plus and heat so if this h plus and this h so 3 h comes out as sulfuric acid that is there and the leftover compound is this ch3 and br that's it 
so basically sulfonation is used to block any position whichever position because this is um, para directing we have blocked that and the leftover site is this so bromine has come and attacked this so this reaction is uh, basically I mean uh, sulfonation reaction is useful in preparing which one i can i can use to prepare i can prepare ortho bromotolin means specifically ortho bromine instead of mixture of instead of instead of ortho and para bromotolins so instead of preparing that mixtures i can prepare only ortho bromotolin by blocking the para position <coughs> instead of getting two different products right so well um, then uh, students i'll meet you again with the next uh, concept that is field crafts alkylation reactions thank you for watching students